This past year, the Water Resources and Environment Subcommittee held a hearing examining ways to modernize the Clean Water Act to better address realities on the ground. While we heard many success stories, we also heard many challenges. One overarching theme became very clear. Years of weaponization of the act by various administrations and radical environmentalist groups are negatively impacting our economy without providing any additional environmental protections. It is unfortunate, but not surprising, to hear that extreme activists have been using the courts to change the traditional and effective way Clean Water Act permitting has worked for decades. Is this what you want to go back to? Is this making America great again? Let's at least be honest about it. The sad reality from the past, is, the past that Republicans are trying to take us back to today, um, is pollution. Really terrible pollution. And that's why it's disingenuous to refer to this legislation as, quote, the Creating Confidence in Clean Water Permitting Act. In reality, it does the opposite. So let's stop the euphemisms, the gaslighting. Let's be honest. Mr. Huffman. Have an amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have an amendment at the desk. Please designate. An amendment to the amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 7023, offered by Mr. Huffman of California, number 76. Without objection, the amendment will be considered as read. Mr. Huffman, uh, five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In the aftermath of the Sackett decision, the Supreme Court severely limited the Clean Water Act's ability to protect tributaries and headwaters. And because of this, at this very moment, Congress should be trying to move legislation that uh, builds and protects the Clean Water Act, giving it EPA new tools, further tools to hold polluting industries accountable, safeguarding the power of states and tribes to protect sensitive ecological areas, emboldening communities to have an active role in the permitting process for projects that will impact their livelihoods, their health, their drinking water. Sadly, this is not what we're doing today. In fact, House Republicans are doing the opposite. In the aftermath of the Sackett decision, they're trying to gut the Clean Water Act even further by removing EPA's ability to deny Clean Water Act permits, turning it into a rubber stamp for polluters. They're removing NEPA and ESA protections, as well as state consultation. And further, Republicans are trying to eliminate judicial review, making it virtually impossible for a community to challenge a project after it's, after it's been hastily approved through this new permitting process. The reality is the bills before us today will accomplish one thing, to let polluting industries more easily pollute. And look, I'm wishing Mr. Garrett Graves a happy birthday today, but giving a big gift to polluting industries is not uh, the right way to celebrate his birthday. I fear that we have forgotten why we came together in a bipartisan way to pass the original Clean Water Act. The purpose of that law was to protect communities and the environment. Just 50 years ago, we had lakes and streams that you couldn't wade in, much less fish in. We had rivers that would catch fire and we couldn't put them out. But let's stop the euphemisms, the gaslighting, let's be honest. And that's what my amendment does. It would simply change the text and title of the legislation to accurately reflect what it does. First and foremost, it changes the title of the bill to the Dirty Water Permitting Act. Let's just be honest about what's going on here. The title is more transparent. It paints a better picture of the bill uh, because it doesn't ensure certainty or clean water. Uh, let's not lie about it. Further, the amendment would change the section titles, including replacing the language reducing permitting uncertainty with more accurate language, expanding dirty water permitting, and replacing judicial review timeline clarity with accurate language, promoting the pollution of our waterways by restricting judicial review. Look, what you're doing with this legislation is obvious. You can't hide it by gaslighting or euphemisms or anything else, by silencing community voices, amplifying the ability of polluters to build projects that are gonna wreck our waterways. This bill will endanger our environment, public health, and safety. The intent is clear. My amendment simply corrects any mischaracterizations in this bill uh, to make it more honest. I respectfully request your uh, support for this amendment and yield back.